Hello, zookeepers. Welcome to our Zoo Crew Alphabet Show. Today, we're going to visit our zoo. We're going to learn about alligators and learn about the letter A. But first, we're going to hear from zookeeper Zach. He's going to sing our favorite song. Take it away, Zach. Hello, zookeepers. Welcome to our zoo. Now, let me tell you, you've never seen animals like these before. We call them the Zoo Crew. And I'm going to introduce you to them one by one in alphabetical order. You guys ready to meet them? Whew. Oh, oh, hey, kids. Hey, I was just visiting the alligators. I'm Cynthia, chief zookeeper of the Alive Studio Zoo. And um, we're going to visit alligators today. But first, we got to know where they live in our zoo. So here's our zoo map. And here are the seven animal habitats. We have the swamp, mountain, farm, aquatic, jungle, savanna, and the desert. Now, I'll give you a clue, because there's like mud all over me. Which habitat do you think the alligators live? Do you think they live in the mountain? The swamp or the farm? You're right, they live in the swamp habitat. So come join me on the zoo adventure and we're gonna visit Amos Alligator at the swamp habitat. Come on, you ready to meet Amos Alligator? I know I am. Here's my magic letter A card. Now watch what happens. Woo, it's Amos Alligator. Hey, Amos. Wow, look at his mouth and his teeth. I bet he brushes in the morning and at night. Look at his eye and his back and his wiggly tail. Do you see that? And let's look at his underbelly, his slick underbelly. He makes him real slick so he can slide through the mud. Oh, wow. How fun. Amos Alligator. Hey, Gertie Giraffe. I'm going to call out Gertie to help us, but what is that noise? What are you doing? What are you doing, Gertie uh, Giraffe? I was eating a snack. You're making a mess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we know Gertie loves snacks, but this is Gertie Giraffe. She's part of our zoo crew. Hello. Hello. So yeah, we're, I just introduced Amos Alligator to our new zookeepers. And now we want to know what sounds do alligators make? So you can help me with this, Gertie, okay? Okay. All right, here's a sound. You tell me if this sounds like an alligator. Here we go. Meow. <laughs> no, that no. sounds like a little kitty cat Yeah, to that's me. a kitty. All right, here's another one. Moo. Mm. How's that? No. No. That sounds like my friend, the cow. Yeah, that's a cow. Well, let's find out from Amos himself, what do alligators sound like? So I'm gonna push this button right here. <gasps> that's an alligator sound. Wow. Can you guys do that at home? <sighs> wow, how fun. Now, did you know that letters have sounds too? They do. Gertie, can you do me a favor and click on the word alligator. You can just touch it. Alligator. Alligator. Woo! And what is the beginning sound of the word alligator? Hmm. Alligator. Ah. Ah. That's right. Ah. Like an alligator. Yeah. Now, what letter makes the sound ah? A. A. That's Woo! right. So let's learn more about the letter A. Okay, so this is a lowercase a. See that? Lowercase a. Hey, Gertie, I see you sneaking up there. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a bite to eat. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so this is a lowercase a, and it's 3Ds. You can see all the sides. And now I'm going to change it to an uppercase. Ooh. Ooh. Now the uppercase A looks a lot different. See, uppercase A. And then again, you can see its sides. In 3D, the 
uppercase letter A. And you remember, we just learned about it, the a short sound, ah, 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 like an alligator. And it also has two sounds. The letter A has two sounds. Two sounds. And here's the second one. A. A. It sounds just like its name, A. But there's a trick that you can remember these two sounds. You remember Amos Alligator has, that's his full name? Let's go there. Amos Alligator. Amos Alligator. Gertie, can you touch the word Amos, please? Amos. Amos, like A. a. And then let's go ahead and touch Alligator. 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 Do you hear the sounds, Gertie, in that? I do. Well, go ahead and tell us. We want to hear. A, A, Amos, and A, A, Alligator. Kind of sounds right? almost sing-songy. Yeah, it does. A, A, Amos, A, A, Alligator. Long A, A, short A, A. Wow. A, A, Amos, A, A, Alligator. Long A, A, short A, A. <laughs> It's a song! That's awesome! Woo! Thanks for that. That will help us remember that yeah. a, the letter A has two sounds. That is awesome. Thanks, Gertie. So, um, there's a couple of facts that we can also learn about alligators. So, one of them is they have babies, and what do you think their <gasps> babies are called? Ooh, little baby alligators. Alligators. No, that's a great guess, but they actually babies, have a name. Babies. Oh, I know. Okay. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, they are not called baby, baby shark. shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, no, what? not baby sharks. So I'm going to oh. go ahead and tell you. Baby alligators are called hatchlings. Hatchlings? Yeah. Kind of a fun name, <laughs> hatchlings. <laughs> that's a funny name. So here's another fact about alligators. How long do you think they can live? And I'm gonna give you three options that you can guess. Okay. Do they live up to 10 years old? Hmm. Or how about 25 years old? 25? Yeah, hmm. or do they live to 50 years old? 50? Hmm, I don't know. Well, it's 50 years old. 50? Some of you guessed wow. that right out there. 50 years old. Awesome. Well, the last thing I want to show you is Amos in his habitat. I'm going to mm. take my magic video card and watch what happens. <gasps> Ooh, there's Amos on his log in the swamp. Wow. And he, where's he going? He jumped off that log so fast. Yeah, I that wonder, was fast. I wonder what... Where is he going to go? He's probably going to the airport. The airport. Yeah. Oh, Remember the right. story? Amos Alligator has his own story, and we're going to read it today. So if you oh. guys get real comfortable, I'm going to go ahead and read you Amos's story. Oh, good. I'll get comfortable, too. So let's read the Amos Alligator story. So here's the title. Amos Alligator Arrives at the Airport. And it's written by Janice Sinclair and illustrated by Ryan Sellers. And illustrated means he drew the pictures for us. Oh. Yeah. So here goes the story. Okay. Amos Alligator arrives at the airport about an hour late. Amos is not happy. The airplane did not wait. He has his bags and his ticket too. But what is Amos going to do? What is that? Did they call a flight for Amos after all? Whew, that's good. Remember, Amos, next time you go, you should be on time, you know. Whew, glad he got his flight. Me too. Hey, Gertie, have you ever been late before? Mm, yeah. One, I was late one time because I missed the bus and I was late to school. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. How did that make you feel? Well, I was kind of sad because I missed the greeting time in the morning and I really liked that part. Yeah, that's our favorite. We love the greeting time. 
Yeah, we should all try to make sure we're on time because we feel bad when we're yeah. late. So when we were reading the story, there was a couple of things that Amos brought with him. Do we remember what they were? Mm, a tree? No, that's something you would bring because you love the, <laughs> the leaves off the tree for snacks. Yeah, I like snacks. He brought, you remember right here we have a clue. He has a bag. <gasps> He brought his bag, which mm -hmm. is another name for suitcase, and there was something else that he brought. Do you remember what else mm. it was? Oh, his ticket. Yes, he brought his ticket. Those yeah. are two things that he brought with him. Now, do we remember how late he was? Was he uh, about an hour late? Or was he five hours late? Or was he a whole day late? No. He was an hour late. Yes, he was about an hour late. Good job. Very Thank good. Thank you. So did you guys know you can have your very own story, the Amos story? You can have it printed out. There's a link in the description below. You could print it out, read it, and even color it. Color? Yeah. Wow. I can get my crayons. Yeah. I can get my markers. I'm so excited. I want Gertie's one. Gertie's excited about getting yeah. her own story. So, yeah, have someone help you print it out, and that will be your own Amos story. Wow. Okay, zookeepers, let's do a zoo review. What did we learn today? We learned about alligators, and do you remember what habitat they lived in? The swamp. And you learned what their babies are called. Do you remember what they were called? Hatchlings. And we learned about the uppercase letter A, and the lowercase letter A. And what sounds, there was two, does the letter A make? A and A. Ah, that's right, very good. And we gained a new friend, Amos Alligator. Ooh, I have a surprise. Do you want Amos Alligator to come alive in your home? Well, watch how you can do that. Watch how I'm gonna make Amos Alligator come alive on my iPad and then I'll show you how to do it too. So I have my Letters Alive book, but what I'm gonna share with you is the letter A bug. That's what we need to make Amos come alive. So I'm gonna put it right there. And I have my iPad, but you can use your smartphone. I downloaded my free app already, and I'm gonna point it to the screen right at the letter A bug and watch what happens. Woo, hey Amos Alligator. So he's alive on my iPad and I'm gonna set it right here. And you can move him around, you can take him outside, have fun with him. Hey Gertie, come out and take pictures with Amos Alligator. Hey! Hey! So I'm gonna have Amos sit on her head. Ooh, I'm on the screen now? Yep. Woo, girl, look at those eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. I look good. They're pretty. Mm -hmm. Here, hold, hold still. Oh. See, and I can take a picture, bring them down. You'll notice these buttons are the same buttons we had on the show today. And I'm gonna click to letter mode. So there is the lowercase letter A, and I can move it. There's the uppercase letter A. So I'm gonna take a picture with Gertie and the uppercase letter A. There you go. Woo! Gertie, I took a couple pictures. Thank you. You wanna go share those with your friends? Yeah, great idea. I'll go now. Okay, thanks. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you see all these other buttons, the letter A. A. The short sound. A. The long sound. A. Just like we did on the show today but we have trace the letter A. And you can learn how to trace the letter A too. Now let me show you how you can make Amos alligator come alive in your house. Again, you can use a smartphone or a tablet. You're gonna download the free app and I'm gonna place the letter A bug on the screen for you right now. And we're gonna hold it for a few seconds and then you can take your device scan it and Amos alligator is going to come alive wherever you're at and if you need more help there's directions below 
Thank you so much, zookeepers, for joining me on the show. Next time, we're going to learn about the letter B and an animal that starts with the letter B. Do you know what that's going to be? <laughs> so remember, subscribe and click the bell icon. That way, you'll be notified of more of our shows that are coming. Thanks for coming. See you next time. We've made it all the way through our most lively zoo crew. And it was so nice to meet you. And now you know what they do. If you have any question, you can repeat this lesson. And you can keep learning, friends. Ah, learning never ends.